Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Persis Plays Rimworld. As always there's a link in the video description to the playlist so you can skip around and watch them in a row if you want to. And also a uh, link. See I just did my Stardew Valley so I got a different intro in my head. Oh well. Uh, yeah there is a link to this game on Steam if you'd like to purchase it for yourself as well. So uh, we're picking up where we left off. I did take a look. It's a couple days later for me to let my uh, voice recover a little. And you know what Hippo start cleaning dirt because everyone's miserable. I got 4x minor, major break risk. It's going to be like one more uh, day before anyone gets over the old barrel or organ harvesting uh, thing. So we're going to get them doing that. We still, I, what I was saying is that we still have, what's Kim doing? Sculpting. Okay. We're getting some sculptures. That'll help once, it, once we get some really nice sculptures, we can uh, put them all around and it'll make people a little happier. Uh, I was saying that I checked the uh, actual video of last time so I can see where I left off. Uh, what's going on here? Limestone blocks. Yeah, we don't have any limestone blocks, so get rid of this, get rid of all of these. We do have a lot of slate. So let's get that moving. Okay. What's that bashing noise? Is somebody trying to break out of prison? Or are they just constructing? And let me get this all kind of the way so I can see everything at a glance. Just like that, like that, I think. All right. All right. Good to go. Um, so I hear constructing going on. Okay. They're putting in the carpets. We've got just one major break risk right now. He's got his panoxicillin. Let's have yourself some of the sticky icky. Feel better, Kaniki, Kaniki, ukulele, whatever. Why did he break down that door? Oh, it was just the floor. Okay, I thought I thought he just like took the door down in a fit of jealous rage. And as soon as these things get made, and actually, let's take a look at who our best construction guy is. Uh, construct. It's going to be Pearson and Kaniki. Funnily enough, uh, let's get. Pearson, what are you doing? Making shelves. And one of our best construction guys just completely failed at making a slate shelf. And you're moving pretty slow, but that's because you're one of our peg leg people. What? Shattered. Missing ribs. Missing a thumb. Man. Um, I want you to work on this electric crematorium. Because I don't want to forget, and then they'll get made, and then I won't be able to... Uh, and Hippo, I know you like researching and all but everyone's miserable because the place is a filthy pigsty so we're gonna get you cleaning some dirt and some blood and some puke and some animal filth and every other thing that's going on here look at this now we got this carpet you can see all the dirt so much easier which is probably not the the best thing to have in this situation uh, major break risk for Hector Hector well, you know what time it is, Hector. That's right. It's 4.20. Get on it. What is Pearson? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just put her on Electric Crematorium. And I'm like, what is Pearson doing? Okay, so now we have our Electric Crematorium. we got to put bills in. Uh, first things first, what we want to do is... Oh, we got a bulk goods crate. Great. That's good. That's good news. Um, want to cremate corpses forever. Whenever there's a corpse... I don't know if they're going to do our uh, colonists. Hopefully we won't need to find out too often. Uh, but all these jokers over here, we're going to cremate them. Uh, so that's top priority. We're also going to burn apparel. For one, we, we want to get rid of any flavor of tribal wear. Allow non-dead man's tribal wear. Tribal wear isn't worth anything. We're getting rid of it. Do forever. And we're also going to burn apparel... We're gonna move this one up over the tribal wear. We're gonna allow all dead man's apparel and then everything. So hopefully they'll oops. Hopefully they'll burn all flavors of dead man's apparel, and we're gonna do that forever as well. Great. So that's what we need the uh, crematorium for. Uh, we won't have anybody else looking at dead bodies, and we won't have anybody wearing dead man's apparel or tribal wear. Uh, Pearson is having a break right now because she needs uh, food, rest, everything. You know what, take a break, have some food. There's, there's a simple meal right here. All right, 
uh, bulk goods vendor. Who was our best? See, now, not that I had learned which guy does which, but who was our best uh, social guy? It's going to be Anna. Anna's like our best doctor and our best social. Send our top man on it. Look at all these elephants. I don't think we need to tame these elephants anymore. No, we want a huge army of elephants. Who am I kidding? All right, so uh, what we want from these guys is we want all the Nutramine. We always want to get Nutramine from like every vendor that comes in uh, because obviously we're, we're eating so much of it in the form of Panoxicillin. Uh, we also want components because that's a limiting factor. We got cloth to make uh, clothes all we want. So we can get rid of some of these like let, well, that one is like not going to give us anything. So because it's half rotted away. Uh, but so we can get rid of some of these smaller stacks of leathers. Uh, we'll get rid of everything but like 10 doobies. We're keeping all the panoxacillin, of course. Um, although, wow, that sells for significantly more. That might be a little money-making thing, you know, you get a Nutramine for, two Nutramine for like six fifty, and you sell them off for 17 bucks. That's, that's pretty good. All right, uh, some of the shoddy clothing, get rid of, just like that. We got a spare bed, we can get rid of that. Uh, let's see, Oof, minus 1485. What else do we have that we can get rid of? We got a lot, a lot of corn. Let's get rid of like 500 corn. Um, maybe like 800. 800 corn, there we go. Uh, and we'll just start getting rid of some of these other leathers. You know what? I'm tired of looking at that stack of leather there. Mega sloth leather. I'll get rid of it all. Who cares? Turn my volume down a little. Turkey leather, yep, you're gone. Turtle leather, yep, you're gone. And I also want to try to build up as much silver as possible because we really only have enough to order like one uh, bulk goods vendor right now so I want to try to get some of our silver situation sorted we used a lot of it on the floor of the hospital uh, what else can we sell we sold like everything uh, we'll keep the pack of hide Ooh. all right what are we taking back here beaver skins 971 great and we'll take back some doobies Ooh. all right well that took longer than it needed to but here we are, and Anna, whatever happens, don't leave the components and stuff out in the rain because it will die immediately. We can leave the silver, as I've said before, but the components and the Nutramine will rot away to nothing before before we know it. Uh, so let's check on the animals. We've got everyone set to training. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> One wild boar. We've got three pigs. We got a lot of animals, guys. This is like a little out of control. We might want to get rid of these pigs. We might want to, like, just slaughter them. Let's get rid of them. There's just too many, and we are an elephant colony, first and foremost. So that was pig two, pig one, and pig three is... Oh, oh no, Anne, okay. Uh, pig three, where... Oh, no, it's sow. That's why. All right, so we're going to slaughter these pigs just because we don't want to have that many animals that we got to uh, feed all the time. we got our nice one Labrador Retriever and one Wild Boar. We'll keep that because they can't even breed. Uh, Kim's on a fire starting spree. That's not the best thing, Kim. Like, fire... Ooh, let's expand the home area. Of course, the fire starting spree happens, like, way out here in the hinterlands where no one's there to put out the fires. And they're going to go unchecked and out of control. Look at that. Here we go again. Here we go again. Guys, get up there and sort it. The whole map's going to burn. Again. We got four people on it. Hopefully. Uh, it's getting, getting brutal. I mean, I guess it's better. If you're going to start fire, you may as well start it out here. Um, rather than like, you know in the base but basically no one's getting to do anything is that rain oh blessed rain what was this slag chunks i don't know where they uh what burned over there or maybe that was just leftover stuff from before okay so we're kind of back we've 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 stabilized here a little bit uh i want to make sure we get 
one of these that has weapons and apparel and copy the settings and paste the settings. Great. All right, so we're still coming along. We're still building the carpet ever so slowly. Uh, Pease is making some of our... Why are you stacking them like that? Why? Why would you do that? Put them in one stack. You jerks. All right. Ah, oh, someone's throwing a party. Kim, it's throwing a party. You better throw a party. Make everybody forget the fact that you just set the whole world on fire up there. And if it wasn't for a lucky rainstorm, we would have been toast. <clears throat> well, I'm going to let them do that. Party is finished. Okay, I was going to say, I'm going to let them have their little party. Uh, because I really want the, uh, the, the little boost of joy we get. And let's see how we're doing. All right. They all forgot all about Barrel by now. Uh, we've still got a very ugly environment. Uh, Hippo is greedy for the impressive bedroom. Your bedroom is the best bedroom in the place. You've got two potted plants, two chairs. You're getting the carpet before anyone else. Ah, Boomalope. Oh, no. This is not good. Okay, it's raining. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get uh, Hector out here. Is this the one? We don't want a boomalope. Because with all the fires that are going on... <laughs> that was a tame boomalope, which is unfortunate. But... Here, let's uh, shoot a couple more of these down while... Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, shit! Get out of there, Hector! Well, now I just set the whole world on fire. <laughs> this is not good. It's not good at all. Let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, you know what we'll do? We're just going to say, hey, if it gets to here, that's when you're going to start putting out this fire. <clears throat> Man, can't count on the rain. Oh, is it raining again? It is raining again. I think. Sort of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay, good. So we can get rid of some of this again. And maybe we can get, uh, well, Hector's sleeping. Who's the other one? A sniper, Mitch. Okay. Let's get Mitch out here to hunt some of these bad boys, too, while it's still raining. If it continues to rain. Why is it still on fire? It's raining on it. All right. Come on, Mitch. Get out here. Got right, your new assault rifle. Finding. Okay. Let's see what else we need. Hmm. Survival meal, not as important. Brewing, not so good. Vitals monitor. We want vitals. Oh, we need our, we need gold for our multi-analyzer before we can even do that. So, let's see. Oh, geothermal. Of course we need that. All right, Mitch. Set off a chain reaction here while it's still raining. Hopefully we can get rid of some of these boomalopes. <laughs> Boomalope revenge. Do your worst. Stupid explosive creatures. <laughs> Head down here now. Back up here. Man, if there was a way where we could like tame the boom lopes and not have them explode inside our own buildings, that would be pretty swanky. That would be a big surprise for the raiders when we send like 10 of these things at them. Look at this. Still raining. Somebody's having a sad wander, but right now we're. How bad are you at sh I, Mitch, you're like one of our best shooters. Get up there. Or maybe because he's tired? I don't know. Or maybe I'm giving the boom a little cover. Fire. Alright, we're gonna let you go back. Oh, okay, he's eating. And we'll get uh, Hector, Hector back out here. And we'll get rid of the rest of this tribe o boomalopes once and for all. Gonna exterminate it. 
Exterminate the explosive menace. Get closer. And it's still raining, so bad news for you. Whoa, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> Walks right up on it. Alright, so I think all these boom wolves are dead. Hector is a little on fire. Okay, he's getting he's getting better. Perfect. So he's burned. We're gonna rest until healed. And of course, we're gonna take Anna, who is your wife, and we're gonna have her get out of bed. She can't hate us for making her get out of bed to uh, tend to her own husband. Hippo is having a sad wander. Is he still wandering? Yeah, yeah, he sure is. Man, we gotta get some of these sculptures online or something to generate a little bit of, of, of happiness. All right, now you can go about your business, do whatever you want. How are these guys? Are you guys getting fed? Nose cut off. Oof. Yikes. All right. Good. And do we have this built yet? No, we do not. How are we doing on steel? Oh, forgot to expand it. Right over here. We don't have a lot of steel at all, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's get some mining done over here. That'll give us the steel, hopefully, that we need to finish this bad boy over here. It's already got the components and stuff in there. In the meantime, people are making uh, tons and tons of carpets. And we've got a ton of boom loaf meat. There we go. All right, good. How are we doing on this sculpture? Not coming along. Wow, where did all... Do we have a fire in here? Oh, you know what it was? Well, I sold all our leathers to the trader. So, that's, that's explaining it. I was like, where's all our stuff? So we sold it all. And you see they're starting to burn these things up. They're burning up the uh, the corpses, which is nice. And actually, at this point, we can probably get rid of that zone altogether. Because we have a uh, crematorium, and they could just cremate people just like that. Still looking good on Neutramine for now. I'm worried about this Panoxicillin thing, um, but we'll see. Uh, Kanuki's just making blocks. Whoa, Manhunter pack. All right, let's see. It's a Manhunter pack of pigs. Okay, well, let's get the squad out. This could be very dangerous. Don't want to take any chances. Our dog's just making love in the fields. Why did our dog go out there? I love when you got like this, this picket line here, just like mowing down everything. Jeez, look at this. Okay. So let's get most of you guys off of that. Let's get Hector. Is that still a burn? No, you actually did get bitten by a pig. Get you in here. Uh, get you guys back. Kim, you're the regulator. You're going to kill all the ones that survived. Oh, shit. That one's still alive. Okay. Looking good. We got through this and at least Bambi didn't shoot. Whoever that was, Mitch. Look at all of our animals. Just look at them. Oh, got new husky puppies. Fire in the home area. That's going away. Okay, good. So we're training up our puppies. We got our elephants. <laughs> I'm so happy we got our elephants. We got too many huskies, man. Uh, but that's okay. They're helping us. They're helping us haul. So if we can just... Oh, who's starving now? Hector. Was somebody... I assume that... No, he hasn't been treated at all. Take a little meal. Rest until healed. Let's get Anna back up out of bed. Well, Anna's having a meal. There we go. Alright, good. Tight. <clears throat> Remington is healed. Oh boy. 
I sure will sleep easier at night. Mitch, clean up some of this dirt. I wonder if there's more dirt in the rainforest biome. It seems like there's a ton of dirt. As soon as we clean, it just gets dirty again. And we do have somebody on cleaning heavily. Now Mitch is going to go ahead and meditate. All right, uh, this wood's got to get hauled over to here, which is not very far. To be fair, we're making some medicine. Do we get our... Yes, we got our first hospital bed. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall one of these <clears throat> to make room for the next hospital bed. But that's a little while later. We need to steal for uh, this over here. And we definitely need uh, plasteel and gold. Shit. All right, so we're going to have to trade for some plasteel and gold. Or if we can find it anywhere on the map, that would be good too. Cargo pods, let's see what we get. We get a bunch of blocks, sandstone blocks. Perfect. Haul these a little closer. All right, who's our construction? Minor break, not, the, not too bad, not too bad. Kanuki and Pearson. What's Pearson doing? Recruiting. And what's Kanuki doing? Burning. Burning stuff. All right. Need materials for that. Need materials for that. I'm going to just set this because sooner or later we'll get the materials for that. Another man animal. And this one is a wild boar. So let's go ahead and get uh, Hector on this. What is he doing? He's hunting. He's, he's already going for it. Boom. One shot, one kill. That's how Hector does. Nice. How are we doing on uh, our crops, too? It's really not getting harvested so well. This big heel root area. And smoke leaf's ready to go. Who are our growers? We just have Logan on it as a priority. He's a 10. We took Pearson off to do construction and wardening. Hippo, we took off to do research. Hector, we got to find somebody else to grow things. Bambi is doing crafting as a high priority. Uh, but now we got Pisa, who's very good at crafting. So Bambi, you're going to get on growing. There we go. So once the cooking is done, you're going to get on growing. All right, hopefully we won't, because we did sell some corn, so it would really suck to start getting, uh, having more troubles with uh, food after we sold all that corn like bozo. And what else did we just research? We researched, I forget what the last thing was. Medicine, electric smelting, batteries, machining. Queen bee is giving birth. That's more puppies we've got to feed. Uh, huh. I don't even know what our last thing was. What what was the last thing we were doing? Was medicine production? Refining is what it was. Okay. I'm going to make a refinery. So, this is a refinery. Plop that guy right there. And, of course, we don't have the steel or the component. Actually, we should. We should. If this mining up here ever gets done, which it's not. Seems like nothing's getting done, but okay, let's see. We got we got people making doobies like crazy. Pisa's hammering away at that. Kanuki is making stone blocks. We're gonna go ahead and suspend that, free up some labor there. Nothing's going here. Nothing's going here. We do already have our assault rifles. Do we have any spare ones? No? Okay, good. Wanna make sure everyone's all equipped up. I'm about to turn off the doobie factory. Believe it or not, unbelievably. Ah, no, because he's going to be done soon enough. Got meals cooking. Good man animal. Turkey, okay. Let's get a hunter over there. Nice, perfect. Turkey's back on the menu. And still nothing on the mining. Who's our miners? Kim. 
Kim can mine. And Kim is resting. Okay, so we got another night in the bag. Everyone's going to... Your jacket deteriorated away to nothing. All right, well, we're going to have to... Gonna have to get some more jackets. Cargo pods, cool. I'll take it. Let's see what we get. A bunch of rice. Nice. All right, good. We're having problems with power too. You know what it is? We need that geothermal with the with the quickness. That's what's that's what's got to happen. Uh, let's get some dusters because somebody's jacket whittled away to nothing. And the geothermal is gonna go right there when we're done researching it. Still need. Whew. We need some mining done, and it was either Kim or... Oh, no, that was not money. Uh, Kim or just Kim. That's why. Hippo. We took Hippo off mining so he could research as well. Yikes. He's a, he's a good guy. He does, like, everything here. Oh, he's our best grower, too. Hmm. Hate to take him back off research, but we might have to. Does anyone else research that doesn't do anything else that's good? Not, not really well. Not really well. Not really well. Flash storm in the middle of a mountain, maybe? I don't know. Not a pro oh, there it is right there. Okay. That's uh, nice and close to our crops, which is perfect. More cargo pods this time. It's got... It's giving us some uh, some Mary Jane. And if the rain doesn't come soon, I think this is going to... Oh, no, no. All right, the flash storm is over. Man, it's so hard to get anything done in the rainforest. Like, it's like constant, constant trouble. Like, there's, there's just one thing after another. These fires go out of control. You got to make sure people don't get malaria and stuff. Another bit of fire over there. Oh, man. This stuff is going to grow, go completely unchecked. I know it. This is exactly the same area. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Do a little fire break here, there, and there. The fire gets to there. You guys got to get out there and fight it. That's how we're going to do that. All right, so the fire has gotten to there. Man. Get out there. Mitch, Logan, there's a fire. And we're going to have to do something like fire breaks or something like that. I mean, I know I took people off building blocks, but... Jeez, oh, this is where Mitch and Logan were going over to this corner. And while the whole map burns yet again, I think it's because this grass, this tall grass, is like extremely flammable, even though it's like we live in a marsh. Hippo is going to break again. I'll tell you what, Hippo. You're fighting fire. Put some fire on the end of that. Yet another fire burns down the whole area. We're really going to have to put some like stone pathways and stuff down. So that's the only way to protect our, our, our goods here. All right, let's start. Slate, slate sounds good. Floors, slate tile. Uh, fire can't burn this stuff, so let's do like slate here. That's a hundred blocks gone. Maybe three deep? Like that. And then one, two, three deep like that. And then three deep like that. Still more fire. Everyone's breaking. Two, three. Major breaks all around for everybody. All right, we'll just start with that stuff. Because uh, we need other stuff to be built in the meantime. Everything everything is filthy. Hector is ready to break. Man. Rose is given birth. Now the rain comes. And we've only lost this much of the entire map. Great. Maybe we'll, hmm, we'll put like 
uh, pathways on the ground over there too, maybe. I don't know. Flagstones require the same amount of materials but less work. What is Pearson doing relaxing? Got news for you. Requires a lot less work to make the flagstones, but I don't think you can pick them back up again. I don't think they look as good. So uh, we're just going to go ahead with the uh, labor intensive stuff. Almost as though labor wasn't already a problem. All right, now Pearson is doing things. Everyone's sleeping. Whew. Let's see. Turkey, get hunted. Kiss, kiss our, cassowary, whatever, get hunted. And actually, we got a lot of meat. I probably shouldn't be hunting anything. We need Kim, who is taking rice, to get on the steel. These two bozos started fighting each other. And Kim is now taking rice, whatever that means. I don't know if that means eating it. Not really. It shouldn't be. It's probably taking rice to, like, someone to warden. But we really need this steel. we got to get this stuff together. Geothermal power. Okay. Got to remember that. All right. Now we got Kim doing that. <sighs> Geothermal power. Let's see. We can put this right on here, which is going to eat up. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to slam it down. And then as far as zone... Oh, it already took the zone out. So now we got to get somebody in here to haul. You're playing chess. Good. Uh, haul the kidney. We don't want them to s slap a uh, geothermal generator right on top of all our good stuff. Prioritize hauling Fitzkin. Prioritize hauling Panoxicillin. Prioritize hauling Component. Here we go. All right, much better. And now our smelter is done. So let's get some bills here. Uh, what we want to do, smelt metal from slag forever. Or, no, I'm sorry, forever. Uh, what that is, is that's all these things that litter the map every time, like cargo pots come down and stuff. That allows you to melt that down and get steel out of it, which is great. So we want people doing that for free steel. And we're also gonna destroy our smelt weapons. We're gonna do forever as well and we're gonna do this is why we kept the steel spears and stuff we're not gonna smelt any ranged weapons because screw that but we are gonna smelt all melee weapons that are smeltable just like that great so now we're gonna get more steel from all this crap that's left over man we need some we need some clothes we need a research project okay hold on <clears throat> Uh, what else is useful? We're going to need fire foam, for sure. A psychic drone for all the males. Not the best. Hippo's going to go back to research. And Hippo needs some of this to help him be creative and research properly. <laughs> He's just limping forward. Pease is making some uh, panoxicillin. And now what is he doing? He's like one of our best crafters. Always smoke leaf. It's always smoke leaf with this guy. I've got another elephant. Just elephants for days. Nice. Oh my god, look at all the huskies. Alright, get him on baby zone. Get this guy in animal area one. You know what? We might want to start. Why is that not checked? We might want to start taking some of our huskies into battle because we got so many of them. Like it's unbelievable. Uh, actually, Mitch gets one, not the one you're bonded to, and Mitch gets another one. No, not these. Okay. All right, that's how we're going to do that. Major break from Hippo. I think we already handled that with a little bit of the old dube. And Pisa, who's who's working on this? Kanuki's working on this. Building slate tile. Nope. I want you on the tailor bench, baby. Get in there and do. Alright, once that smoke leaf's gone, Peace is going to get back on more important things. And then we're going to have a duster come out here, and we actually need, like... We're going to let that duster finish. Which is almost done. 
perfect. Now we'll pause it and we'll get a couple more pants, a couple more t-shirts. All right. So our labor, as always, is stretched a little thin, but we're getting there. We're starting to get things okay. Anna's making two pieces now too. Uh, no one's cleaning like at all, uh, but that's okay. We'll survive without that for now. Um, hopefully, hopefully everyone will break because everything's so goddamn filthy all the time. Oh my God, 35 minutes. Let me pause this here. All right. I apologize for letting the video run so long. I got carried away. Coming back to RimWorlds, but uh, as always, there's a link in the video description to the playlist so you can skip around, uh, watch them in order if you want to, and I appreciate it very much if you're watching this video series. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.